who next up we have Nelson. So is everyone hearing is everyone hearing right at the back? Is that okay? Is it it's all good. Okay, try to uh, speakers try to keep the microphone a bit closer to your mouth if you can. Just in case. It's all right? Just in case. <laughs> Okay, next up we have Nelson. Nelson really loves cycles, and he's going to tell us why cycling is really more than a sport. Final fourth speaker of the night, let's welcome Nelson. What are you? Thank you. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Nelson, and uh, frankly speaking, I didn't prepare it well, and you guys did a really good job here. And talking about action, I cycling most uh, every day. And I'm talking about cycling is more than a sport because in Taiwan or in America, everyone cycling uh, as a cyclist, uh, bend your back and cycling to the mountain and everywhere. And after I study and working in Germany, I uh, bring the Dutch cycling culture back to Taiwan. So is it okay? <laughs> is it uh, cycling is more than a sport and? You have to do the sport only once a week to the mountain and cycling around the, the island. No. Okay, it's called naked bike. Uh, go on the Google and search naked, Google, naked bike. You can see it's so fun to ride bicycles. <laughs> <laughs> and it's another cycling, okay? You can see everywhere in every city, okay? If we hold maybe Ignite, we can prepare the first naked bike in Taiwan. Okay, what, what are you trying? No, I, I will go into photo shooting, okay? So, except cycling, uh, exercise. Cycling is actually fashion and design. You can cycle in the fashion way. And you can cycle with jewelry, with everything, with dress and skirts in a relaxed way. So you can see actually a lot of fashion design and brands that use cycling in the ads, in their advertisement, like Marry Me. If you use a Marry Me advertisement with a foldable bike, it's strange. So Hermes, you know, it's a French luxury brand and very expensive. It's uh, 160,000 Taiwan dollar. And it's the cheapest uh, uh, luxury brand bicycle. And Gucci, it's called Panda, okay? it's. Uh, 2,400,000 Taiwan dollar, okay? And uh, of course, it, we have the Gucci bag, the double bag, of course, expensive. And next, Chanel, okay? Uh, 361, okay? <laughs> it's Chanel, very expensive. I don't know how to say it in English, okay? So, but it's all Dutch bike. And then Fendi, okay, we have the most expensive bicycle in the world, like the Dutch bike, not the racing bike, San Siju One. Okay, of course, we have P Tao. Okay, of course it's expensive, but they are decoration. But for daily life, do you know who she is? She's, yeah, very ex very famous uh, supermodel. So Dutch bike, you can wear your dress, your skirt, your high heels, suit, ride bicycle in your own way, in your own fashion. Okay, it's cycling chic. You can really cycle in fashion and in your in the streets, not with okay, bend your back with a helmet, with your sportswear. It looks really sports, okay. But for bicycle, you can decorate your bicycle with bags, with a basket. You can put your animal. You can put everything your in your bicycle, and it's cycle chic. But for men, I can also like. Sorry, uh, back to the Netherlands. I love Netherlands so much because they ride bicycle in their daily life. They cycling uh, to work, to pop, uh, because you will never get the uh, police to because you are drunk. Okay, cycling you are not getting a, a bill. So they cycling every day, and I do it in Taipei. Everyone asks, is it uh, not dangerous? I said, if you think it's dangerous, then uh, if you ride scooter, it's also dangerous. Okay, and uh, yeah, that's the last one. I didn't prepare the 20, I prepared the 17. So if you want to go to <laughs> cycling, 
call me. But if you are going uh, going cycling naked, call them. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>